Hey folks, uh, I'm Joe Wetzel, the creator of Worldographer, and we're going to do a little video here using Worldographer to create a little mini uh, spaceship, um, at least maybe two levels of a spaceship, um, and uh, do a battle map, uh, spaceship map. Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to set up the icons that we want. So this is a pro feature to add in custom icons. And um, we have these icon sets that we sell through uh, Drive Through RPG. Uh, initially, we put them out through our Patreon each month, and that's why you can see so many of these folders are by year and then uh, by month after that. And we just want our battle mat icons for Utopian Future. That's the set that I'm going to use here. Um, and then we've got them, you know, the, the program is now importing them uh, for us. Uh, and we'll see them show up momentarily when we open up a new map. But I also want to show you how to configure that. So I did that through add configuration subfolders, which kind of has uh, things are configured already for you. All these icons are con configured and set up for you. Um, you can show your configuration folder so you can see where to put those. And you want to put those into a subfolder there uh, in your configuration folder. If you want to change it from the default, the default would be your user directory and then a worldographer folder that you would create. Um, and then you can stick in these other icon sets underneath there. I do them by year because, you know, uh, over the course of six years of us doing it, they add up. Um, and then, like I said, you can go to add configuration subfolders. If you don't like that, you have trouble with it, whatever, you can also add them individually as features for the most part. All of your beds and chairs and control panels and stuff like that are going to be features. And um, you can use also the terrain and textures for kind of floors and such. Um, so I'm going to go to File, New Battle Map, Dungeon Map, because this is going to be, even though we're doing a space spaceship floor plan, it is a battle map. Um, and I'm setting mine to be... 24 tiles wide and and 12 high so uh, i want to i'm, I'm going to basically imagine this as like a spaceship saucer with two levels it's got a um, a level that is the um, the command level and, and such and then another level which is maybe for your um, store you know your your cargo your 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 rooms for the crew and so forth so i just hit generate map and it's just making a blank map for us right there. I'm going to zoom this out a little bit so that we can see more of the map. We're going to deal with, you know, we're going to have one, one level on one side and another level on the other side. So I can go to um, features to see all those icons. So here I can filter this for just our utopian battle mat. Let me resize this a little bit so you can see uh, more of these icons. But you've got your command chair and some other chairs and beds and bunk beds and uh, control panels like I said we've got a little spaceship that um, would go in a, in a in a hangar if you will um, all that kind of stuff is here you know, you've got to have some uh, toilet and, and sinks and so forth um, so we've got all that so what I'm going to do first though is I want to go to shapes and I'm just going to create an arc oval so I'm just going to create this as if it is a um, like I said, a saucer type thing. Um, I can make the wall, if you will. I'm going to make it like, say, 15%. And I am going to set this up. Now, actually, that's scrolling off the screen. But trust me, we've got a bunch of, bunch of different tiles there to choose from. And uh, But for the wall, essentially, I'm just going to choose a... Um, let's do like a... A weird blue color as the wall. Just for now, I might might come back and change that. Maybe I'll maybe we'll do a, a silver like a gray, and then um, and then for the fill, here we can do the texture. And in this case, we'll do a texture of one of these spaceship. Here we've got another another silver type thing with a spaceship floor decking. I'm gonna just gonna do this one for now. Uh, we'll, we can come back and change it to a different color if we like. Um, but again, this is set up to be that, and I'm going to put in oh one other thing. 
So I do want to snap this. I want it to be kind of centered on the on the squares. And um, you can come out one, two, three, four. You can come out this five. Okay, so I didn't want to do that. I'm going to hold down Control to kind of drag this other point. So that's our, our spaceship overall uh, main floor plan, if you will. Um, and then I am going to uh, divide this up a little bit, maybe, uh, because that's going to be kind of big. I'm going to zoom in some to our section. I'm going to drag this over here. Um, and then we're going to do a line with no fill because we just want the uh, we just want a wall. And so I'm going to set this to um, I'm going to create this here. I'm going to make for now anyway. I'm going to make this kind of. Let's do this. So that's our uh, our bridge area, if you will. I might actually. I think that's going to be a little too small. I think I'm going to bring this out. I might even bring these out. Now here I've got. I can see like there's a little bit of a, a, a jut out because of the way that those. So we're going to make the line cap a butt. And the line join we're going to miter so that this this corner here becomes sharp and this doesn't stick out like if we if we left that as the line cap as square instead of butt it's going to kind of extend that line just ever so slightly and i could see that it was poking out through the sphere so i'm going to change that then i go into the features and we can you know get our command chair of course and set the uh, rotation on that. I'm going to set it to 180 because, of course, I want it to be facing the other direction. And the default size there, to me, just strikes me as a little bit too small. So I'm going to override the default scale and uh, make this. See, this um, I don't override it. It's like that. When I override it, it picks up this 75%. I'm going to make it 85, just because that's what looks right to me. That's going to give me something where the seat area is, you know, over two feet, you know, two and a half feet or something. Um, we can uh, have our commander here uh, and then um, have uh, a couple of other chairs in the in, around. So here we've got our, you know, tactical or weapons officers. Oops, one of these looked like it went too big for some reason. Ah, I see what the difference is because of the of the um, because of the controls on the side. Those uh, that these ones are a little bit smaller. They should be a little bit smaller. So turn these down to say 70 because that's going to match up with that. All right. Um, then what I can do now, I'm going to turn this off though for these other controls and uh, undo the rotate. And we have to give, you know, this guy some something to steer with and this person something to shoot with. And, um, and then we can go Of course, our commander doesn't need any. Um, we can uh, put a couple more, though, over here, say. Uh, we're going to have our, you know, a communications officer. I'm going I'm to undo that one. Just going to pick a different control, slightly different control. Over here and one over here. Just because we've got, you know, maybe our science officer and um, somebody else. Now, a little shortcut, a little trick is... If you're going to put down something uh, that's similar to something you already put down, select it. Select the similar one on the map first, because then all of your settings are going to get set to that, that one that you had previously done. So now I can put this one here and this one here. 
And then I can select these other ones, these control panels, because I want those to be above, of course. So I just change the z-axis right here on the side. So we got all that. Um, now, uh, we've got a couple of, yeah, here's a big view screen. Here's a viewport and a viewport. So we have a bunch of different viewports. We've got a view screen. And for this, that doesn't really strike me as big enough. I'm kind of going to uh, say that I want to widen this even more. So I'm going to do the override default scale, and I'm going to say let's 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 make it 300% on that. And I don't like how um, how tall that is, though. So I'm going to scale the height independently. Let's try that at 50%. Yeah, I kind of like that better. So that's our our view screen that everybody is working from. Um, of course, we need to have a doorway in the back here, so I can filter this by door. Here's our door um, choice that we have. I'm going to un unset those just so that we get our standard width door. Um, and here, maybe we have a, a turbo lift door to go down to the other level, of course. And then we've got a door that is you know, uh, to the other rooms on this particular floor. So that's our, our control room, if you will. Um, we can also, uh, let, let's set, you know, if we want to have a ready room to the side, let's set it on this side just because I said that we're going to do a turbo lift on that side. So this room over here will be our ready room that will be accessible from the... Uh, from this side here, and I gotta change. <clears throat> this is not a standard, a standard thing. So let's play with what this should be. Okay, so that looks about right. And then if I put the focus back on this window, I can use arrow keys to kind of shift that over a little bit. So we've got that. Okay, um, let's draw in the rest of the walls for this level. We just want these to be lines. Uh, again, no fill. We want that, that gray color. Um, so we can go ahead and just do this. Okay. Um, what am I going to do back here for the rest of these rooms? So we got to have like a little bit of a hallway. Um, do I want to have some officer quarters up here? Or do we want to have, uh, I don't know, maybe, um, yeah, I think we'll do some, some quarters up here. And uh, I'm going to just bring this ready room, if you will out to here. Oop. Let's bring it out to there now. Uh, now this here, I'm going to toggle off our, well, maybe I don't need to toggle off the snap. Uh, yeah, so now I'm going to do this with a square and just to get that last little bit there. All right, so then I'm going to deselect the current one and then create a new one. Um, so what do I want to do here? Do I want to have like the captain's quarters up here? And, um, you know, first officers as well or something like that. And then the other crew members are downstairs. Um, or, well, I, I mean, we can have our recreation facility up here, too. Yeah, I, th I think I'd rather do that. So let's say that we've got um, our rec facility here. 
and then on the other side on the other side um, I just had a good idea oh training area or something something like that yeah let's do something like that so um, we're going to divide this up and we're going to do this so let's put a couple more doors in change the rotation to 0% so here's this one and then we can rotate this 90 degrees and then go here and um, then we can go back to oh, features and, and not filter them so up here, what else do we want to have? Is there anything? Oh, medical bay. Maybe a medical bay up here would make sense. Next to the bridge? No, I think it's better downstairs. Okay, but here we've got a nice table, I believe. No, that's the engine component. Sorry. Okay. Uh, let's just filter by table. That's going to give me our tables. So here's our tables that we have to choose between. And we can have kind of something like that. I don't think this set has a desk. No, it does. Okay. And we can have a desk for the captain to, uh, to work from as well. Maybe we can rotate this like a little bit. You know, uh, things are a little bit cramped on a spaceship, but that's okay. And then we get our chairs back again. I almost, uh, sometimes I feel like an interior decorator when I'm doing this uh, stuff, which isn't bad, but it's just kind of, of all the things I could have wound up doing, interior decorating is probably not one of them. can kind of massage the placement of these one by one. So like this and this, I can select both of these guys and then slide that up a little bit. And then these guys here. And I'm just using the arrow keys to kind of drag them down once they're both selected. You control click to, um, to pick multiple things. Then this is going to go up. This here, I'm gonna. Um, if you shift arrow, uh, then it moves it a little bit more quickly to wherever you're trying to go. Actually, I think the chair, the desk, might be better off sliding the desk back. Okay. So uh, there we've got all of that. Um, I do want to make that turbo lift, though, a little bit different. Uh, I, want to, I want to signify that, hey, this, this is different. And I'm going to do that with the um, floor, give it a different, different color floor, if you will. And uh, we'll pick, there's this gray thing that you've got. grayish blue so that's just signifying hey that this is a different area um, and and you know players will know hey that's the turbo lift okay um, so then I uh, don't really think we have anything for a um, con uh, you know I'm looking at one of these being kind of like a training combat area practice combat area and another being sort of like a, a well, like a, yeah, ten forward, if you will. Um, I don't think I have. Well, yeah, I think we can do some more tables, like this. This is kind of our. Yeah, we'll do something like this. So we got this, and this. Well, those are a little bit too close to the door, I think, or to the wall rather.
So we can stick those down and then get our chairs back again. And stick our chairs around. So two, one, two, three. And then turn them 90. Zero is going to be this one, and this one. Actually, let me turn off that snap to, or, or turn on place freely, I should say. And that will give me some more flexibility in where I'm placing these chairs, because we don't want them to be quite so fixed. In fact, I'm going to undo all of those chairs. them all place freely. Oh, actually, let's set these. Like I said, um, if I go on with this too long, I end up becoming sort of an interior decorator and trying to get everything just right. Um, but there we go. We're going to get this chair and this chair and this chair. And then we rotate it 90 degrees, and so then we've got this, this, and this one. And then we rotate it 180 to do the bottom chairs, if you will. And then we rotate it 270 to do the remaining chairs. And then finally, just to get the chairs below the tables, we're going to select each table. I'm just doing control click to, to pick each one and then move those up to the top with that change the axis button. So that's our uh, our kitchen or our, our dining area if you will. We can say that hey there's some controls in here. In fact I mean we can throw something some kind of gadget in there. I think we've got a couple of just gadget type things. So we got this big thing here, and we've got this thing here, and this thing here, and this thing here. Most of those look more like, um, ah, but we have these cabinets. Yeah, so we'll just use these cabinets as kind of, this is where the, the food replicators are, if you will. And so, or they could also just be, you know, uh, essentially, um, what do you call it? They could also essentially just be um, uh, refrigerators or something. In fact, I kind of want to, yeah, so I'm going to do a, a little sink there as well. And because I, I'm gonna just going to select all four of those and then slide them all down. One, two, three, four. And again, I'm just holding down control as I do that. And so we've got our all of our stuff there. Okay. Um, now maybe if I was trying to be perfectionist, I'd pull that even further down and move the chair down or the last table down or so forth, but we don't want to spend too much time on this. Um, in our combat training area, I don't think that there's, you know, anything really that we need to do. We can, we can throw in some more cabinets there, too, just to um, maybe rotate these 90 degrees, uh, just to kind of have, you know, some equipment, whether there's some weapons there, some mats and, you know, yoga uh, accessories and so forth that people might use when they're practicing, exercising, training, whatever. So we have several of those to the side over there. Uh, we can go, we can go one or two more. Well, we have a dead corner there, but so be it. All right, so that's our uh, main level, if you will, of our starship, uh, or our bridge level. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit, because we're going to put down our other shape now. Um, features, let's go to shapes. Let's hit um, 
Let's hit select because again that's going to reset all of our all of our settings will now match the one that we already have. And then I'm going to place the center point and then place the end point. And I think I did guess that properly. Oh wow. That's actually pretty impressive that I think I got that right. Okay. All right, so we know that we need to have our um, our turbo lift door, if you will, which is going to be here, 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 here. Oh, I should have done that as a polygon. Let's delete that. Let's do a polygon for that. That'll be here, 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 and here. And then uh, we're going to change that floor to the matching floor there. Ooh, what happened there? That looks a little bit skewed and weird. Ah, I know what's going on there. That's something funky with the texture. So we pull up the texture configuration and we're gonna find that one. That one should be this one. Apply, close. Nope, that didn't get it. Okay, let's do it the other way then. Let's do uh, let's try a different one first of all, just to see. Okay. That's not really a great color though for this kind of thing. Let me zoom in. Okay. Well when I zoom in it's okay. Let me change that. Seems like it's uh, a little bit of some funkiness with the sizing of these, but I'm going to live with it. I'm going to live with it for now. We can just, actually, we can just fall back on a color. We can just give it some very light, faint blue color. Uh, and then we can go back to the other one, too. Deselect. That's actually trying to get the, um, oh, okay, uh, yeah, deselect, okay, let me just pull this, just want to make sure I'm getting the right, the right thing, all right, so we're just going to use the color instead to show that that's special. All right, uh, do, 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 do. so if I want to go to features now and do our doorway again, and we want to have it not rotated at all, but we want to lock it in place. So we've got that. Now, I kind of want to have this cool ship here as kind of our uh, landing craft, if you will, or something, but that's actually pretty big for this size of a, of a, uh, of an overall ship. And this actually lander, this saucer actually isn't that huge. So yeah, maybe we can just have this without this. Um, okay, so we'll ignore that idea. We're just going to go back to the shapes and we're going to figure out a way to divide up this circle into having a hallway. So we want to have a hallway and we want to have some rooms. So I think I'm just going to make it a central hallway. The only problem is over here. This spot here. What do we, what do we do? well? We can just have that be our bigger, larger rooms. Yeah, we'll have that as our larger rooms. Uh, meanwhile, here we have a ten-foot-wide hallway, which is I I think it's actually almost too big. <sighs> Maybe I just want it to be 
and five feet is kind of too small. So I'm going to go with our hallway being seven and a half feet, essentially. Okay. So we've got that. We're going to put in some doors again. So we're going to have a door to essentially to engineering back here. You know, I mean, we're on a spaceship. I, I think it's a little bit too cramped to do even this set. I, I think five foot hallway makes a lot more sense. I mean, that's big enough. So we're going to select this shape here. And we're going to control drag these points. So that's just going to give us a whole bunch of big rooms uh, down here if we if we just leave it like this. We'll see. Maybe we'll add in some more corridors or something. Let's go back to our door. Uh, so we know that we're going to put engineering back there. We know we're going to have kind of a sick bay area, which I think is going to be over here on this side over here. Um, and then we're going to need to have a few cute crew quarters. So we'll do those two like that and then go back to this and have more crew quarters kind of. Um, yeah, actually and maybe even have <laughs> so we're gonna have a lot of doors here because I'm just realizing that we need to kind of have something we're gonna see how this shakes out but something for um, you know toilet and shower and stuff. Uh, actually, I don't think I can do those last two. Yeah, let's let's drop those last two doors for now anyway. And we'll go and divide this space up again a little bit more with the shapes drawer. And here, okay, so we know we're going to do something like this. And I do want that, okay, so that is squared off. And then deselect, and then we're going to have this here like that. Um, our engineering back here. Something like that there. And I don't know, maybe I'll just try coming out like this. It's not, um, generally I try to avoid making things too symmetrical. Um, that's kind of just not a great way to make a map. Uh, deselect. I want to select this one again. Because that, the problem with the snap to grid, okay, so the, yeah, that works better, I think. And the snap to grid snaps quarter and halfway across, but not, you know, like every, you know, five or ten percent. Otherwise, there'd be no, uh, otherwise it would, it would be too precise for certain zoom levels. So we do it that way. And if we have to tweak it a little bit, uh, we can do that. Okay. So that's sort of what we got there. Uh, really, it just comes down to now we can stick a bunch of, um, you know, engine controls. Maybe this is our great big uh, reactor thing that uh, gets used for the main power of the ship. Uh, we have a couple of other engine controls that we could do or, or you know, photon tubes or things like that if you wanted to. Um, 
but we're just going to go simple and it's all just in one great big device like that. Um, and let's have uh, a console over here for the lead engineer, if you will, to be monitoring things. Um, and we'll just leave the engine room like that, kind of hand wavy. Um, then we got a bunch of bunks and such, so we can figure out the best way to stick these bunks around. Um, well, this room here has no way to get into it, actually, this, this space over here. So that's not really that great. Um, this one here I did have planned as being kind of the medical officer's uh, desk, if you will. So we'll just set that in here. This is kind of our medical person's spot. Give him a chair. Uh, override default scale. Oh, wow. Those chairs are kind of kind of tiny, to be honest, I still think. So I'm going to go back. I can, uh, you know, again, I'm just control clicking all these things. Oh, that's going to check the table, though. So let's get the table out of the way. And let's just get all of these chairs resized to match the other one. So I'm just selecting each of them with a control click so that it keeps the prior selections. And I think that we said that 70% was good for that. Not 200, 70. Yeah. Oh, but this table, that's why, that's why it was giving me that grief. It was... Uh, the table is 200 and something percent, so that's why it jumped. And then this here needs to be moved up. All right, so now that we got that in place, now I can come back to here. And I know to set this to 70. And rotate it around 180. Kind of select. I'm just going to drag that guy over a little bit more. Then we can drag this guy up. And we can stick some cabinets over here. We don't want to override the scale on that, though. So we can stick some cabinets over here that he's got. And our door again there and then we've got our medical uh, beds here so we can have you know two medical beds actually let's rotate those 90 to be kind of like this so he's got two medical beds that um, he can use to observe people Kind of one problem with doing a spherical or curved uh, shape to things is you know uh, you get you're gonna butt up against them you kind of have to kind of hand wave that a little bit so be it okay uh, so we've got those beds now um, oh that's our, okay so the space bed is this okay well let's do it that way then control Z uh, oh. No, we're just going to delete that one. We're going to delete this one. Then we can put down a special space bed, which I guess we've got our bunk there. Don't quite like the placement of that, so I'm going to just slide this. I'm going to select it, slide it down a little bit. Um, I kind of think it's weird to have our bunk be the space bed. I I would have preferred it the other way around, I think. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it the other way around. There's nothing nothing stopping us. We can say that, you know, this stuff up here 
is the storage of each officer their 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 stuff and so we can you know just because it's labeled as a space bed over there uh, doesn't mean that we have to use it as a space bed um, yeah I'm gonna flip this I'm gonna flip it horizontally we're going to put that space bed in here um, Yeah, maybe, maybe let's, but then that, this is, we might be taking out a wall. We'll see. Uh, so let's go back to our regular bed, which we're going to call the space bed now, like what we had a moment ago. And we're going to do that and that, and then we just add a control to it. You know, we can do something. This is supposed to be a cooktop. But could it be something else? It could. Oh, but here we have medical consoles. Okay, good. Yeah, perfect. We've got these medical consoles here. So we can have one there, and we can have the other one here. And then kind of have those attached to the bed, if you will. So there you go. Now we've got these. Now this here might be a little bit too... Let's override that scale, make it 90 maybe, and likewise make this one here 90. Okay, so that, those are our space beds, uh, just using those medical console things there. Move this up above the, uh, the chair. All right. So now, what do I want to do with this stuff here? I kind of do want to have these as just be bigger officer rooms, if you will. Or not officer, but, uh, you know, crewman's rooms. So I'm going to drop those walls. We're going to have, um, well, we're going to have one, yeah, one's going to be a cargo area. You know, if we're, if we're hauling stuff or whatever. Uh, so we're going to go to shapes. And we're going to select these walls. So, like, we're going to select this point here that is this wall and delete it. And we're going to select this one here and delete that one. And then we got to figure out a way to arrange these beds. I'm going to take this bed here and we're going to position it. We're going to rotate it around, kind of, essentially. I'm going to set that at, is it 90, you know, zero? Yeah, zero degrees to start with. And we will just do this. Like I said, it's kind of, I sometimes feel like I'm a, uh, gra a, a an interior decorator here. Uh, let's do the 270, and oh, we're going to undo this vertical flip, uh, and then we'll do another one over here. We'll rotate those in a moment, but the other thing we're going to do, so we'll put a couple more up here. This is kind of your officer's area. All right, let's let's get those positioned a little bit better. Like that. So we, we have some dead space there in the corners. Uh, you can hand wavy that a little bit. Um, and here we can change this. So, nope, so we want to go the other direction. So, like 315. No, so we want to go like. Well, this is going to move over though, too. Yeah. 
So this one here can come up and go back a little bit. And then this one here. little bit more on the rotate there. Something like that. So that's pretty good there. Um, now I am going to throw, uh, well we don't need two doors going into this space. So I'm going to move this one down though because we are going to add in, we need some facilities. Uh, you know, in the future, people haven't completely controlled their biologies, uh, so we're going to have to add in something for that. So we go here, and let's uh, back that up a little bit there. Okay, so we have this room here for the facilities, and then this is, you know, our cargo area is smaller. And not easy to get into here, but we would probably, let, let's say that we got, you know, we have a, uh, a lift, maybe this whole, you know, that this whole wall will, will, will open up um, to get cargo in and out. And this is just, you know, letting people in and out of the cargo area. Um... So for our facilities, we do have a uh, shower type thing, which is this. Um, and I will, of course, need to rotate that away a little bit. So let's do... Okay, no, that's not quite what I need there. Yeah, okay. So we've got this shower area here. I mean, it's not a big crew. You know, what we got? We got uh, 8, 10, 12. Room for 12 people there, right? So it's not a big crew area. In fact, we don't even have a separate area for the captain. The captain must be bunking in here with these guys. Um, but so be it. It's a small ship. I mean, we could divide this up and stick a captain's area over there. Uh, we could also, you know, divide one of these up even more like this area here. I can divide up even more and give the captain a private, a private room, essentially, if we wanted to. But we've got that, and then we've got um, a sink area here. Let's uh, flip the rotate on that to zero degrees. And then have a couple of sinks up here. Um, we can have a cabinet there in the bathroom. Up here against the wall. And another one over here. And then a toilet or two. Here's our toilet. Let's flip this around 180. Stick our toilets in here. We have two toilets there. And then, of course, we're going to position that. Well, let's put a wall in first and then we'll position them into the wall areas. Uh, so here we've got a line again. And we're going to stick that up like that and then over like that and then down like that. like that. So those are our two toilets, if you will. We might even do we want to drag that down a little bit. No. I think we'll just leave it like that. That's a little bit narrow here in the sink area, but we'll assume that the these walls, these doors turn in. Let's put our doors in. Back to our door. Now this here, we want to size it down. So we're going to scale it down to like 
70% instead of the full size. We can do one here, we can do one there. That second one, I need to slide over a little bit. There we go. So that is our second level, if you will. So we got engineering, got our doctor's office and sick bay beds, we've got kind of our officer quarters, we've got our crewman's quarters. Um, and again, I could divide this up to give the captain a private space as well. Uh, we've got the necessary, if you will. Uh, and then over here, we've got our bridge. You know, our bridge doesn't look as impressive. I don't know why. I, 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 maybe it's just because the captain needs a control panel too or something. It looked better if he was up on a raised platform, I think. Select this. Move him back a little bit. And, um, you know, it's not a bad idea. Could, could we have two doors going into this? I mean, it's the future, right? People, yeah, it's the future. So, for the sake of argument, let's say that there's two entrances into our, um, our turbo lift. Um, and even two exits. Uh, well, see, here we just have one central door, kind of, I mean, one central hallway, but whatever. Um, yeah, so there's our little uh, flying saucer style spaceship using the worldographer software and the icons um, from our Utopian Future set from a couple of years ago. I'll put in some links to get those. Um, oh, and then if, you know, you can always zoom in here like this. You can set your your size. So if you want a particular uh, export size, like if you want 75 pixels per square, you can set that there exactly like that. Then you can go into, I'm just going to turn off the uh, the uh, dragging of the, of the object into there. So then I can go to export image if I want to, or I can select just an area using the edit tool to select a map area. But I can export the image. I can also export the, the thing to a PDF. Um, and so those are different ways to get the, the program, uh, to get the, um, the image out of the tool. Um, but yeah, so that's our, um, that's our spaceship that we made using Worldographer. And again, all of these icons, though, are just PNG images. So if for some reason you um, prefer to use a different tool, uh, if it imports PNG images, uh, then you're good to go. We give them transparent backgrounds so that, you know, something is not, not a perfect uh, rectangular shape. Like, okay, here we've got, you know, these toilets and such. Oh, let's see, when you zoom in, sometimes you see some things that you're like, oh, yeah, I meant to come back to that. And, and move that the, the positioning of that particular object, and so I can I can do so here. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah. So all these objects uh, are PNG images with transparent backgrounds, so that if they're not perfectly rectangular, you have transparent pixels uh, in those extra gaps. Um, but that's uh, that's the worldographer software and these icon sets and making a. A mini space station. I hope that was kind of interesting and cool. Um, tried to not make it run too long. Um, it is pretty quick um, uh, to do so, I think. Uh, but, uh, you know, it does take a little bit of time uh, to do it. So, uh, again, um, hey, if you want to see more of these videos, uh, give me a su subscribe and and uh, uh, look, for, look for more on our channel. Thanks.